Hello everyone, welcome back to the Lord of the Rings Online, the Slow Tro Edition. This is Narwin A here. Say hello to everyone, Narwin A. Good girl. When we last left off, we were just finishing up pretty much the last of the... Quest here in Trestlebridge that weren't fellowship quests. So, hmm. Had to load in the bridge there. Last one that wasn't a fellowship quest. So, the next one we had was Turn East, Never North, which was travel to the crossroads north along the Greenway. So, that is what we will do. Let's cr cross the trestle span and then I will see if I can get Miss Narvane to head on north up the Greenway. Past where Maddie and uh, the woodcutters are and see if she can find some adventure further up into the into the North Downs proper here. So we will take a look at that. I hope that y'all have been having a very good time. Lord knows I have had a very busy time anyway. And I think I mentioned my son bought a house, so <coughs> So I've been helping with furniture shopping and picking out TVs and all that kind of stuff for them. So that's been fun. And then I think late tomorrow or the next day, I'll have to check and see what the, the exact schedule is now. We are going to load a truck up and head to the uh, north side of Atlanta, up in the Alpharetta area. And help him move from his apartment to his house and get everything set up and everything. And it's fun, fun, fun. So that is something I'm looking forward to. But we're gonna try and get some try and get some adventures going here in the meantime. That were Maddie, yep, that's Maddie and them. See if we can get another Narwane up, see if we can get another Narlo up tomorrow, and see if maybe we can fit a Doom episode in here and, and get some stuff going with G-Bub too. Whether it's back home or while he's on his European vacation, one or the other. Because he's got that Yuletide, it's almost a week of December's almost gone by, and I need to get that Yuletide stuff going here. In addition to being the big coughing and wheezing, and I'm going to try and edit out all the coughing and everything that I've had. The signpost points to a dark land to the north, Fornost. But the light of a campfire catches your eye. And I'm assuming this is... Investigate the campfire at the edge of the darkened fields. Okay. So this was the the signpost where they said turn east and never north. But it looks like we're gonna go north anyway because of our investigation of the campfire. Let's pull Bobo out. Imagine he'd like to see some new territory. Now entering the fields or forenost. What is up here at this campfire that we've spotted? Uh, further north, further up top. Okay. Cool Bear the Mad Idrimine, a horse. I do not have the corresponding quest. And Mincham, the ranger, I would assume, being dressed the way you are and wearing Saradan's face. Did you skin Saradan and wear his face for a mask? I have been in this foul place too long. All right, turn east, never north. Ah, shadow is on my spirit. Ah, hail, traveler. If you are in need of a warm fire or a meal, you are welcome to join our strange company. We do not get many folk at the edge of Fornost. What errand could possibly bring you hither? Okay. Would you stay a moment and learn of my troubles? Eccentric company. I am Mincham, a ranger of the north and ever a protector of these lands. My duty binds me to keep watch over the fields of Fornos, for they have grown dark and evil. 
Wise folk do not come near this place. Allow me to introduce my companion, Colbert the Mad, so he likes to call himself. He wandered out of the field one day and sat himself down at my fire. It was some time ago and he has not left. Introduce yourself to Colbert the Mad. Okay. Hello, Mr. Colbert. Let's see what you have to say. How can I be of service? The man fixes you with a hard stare, lines of amusement etched into his pale skin. Yes, I am Colbert the Mad. I came out of Fornost and lived to tell the tale. I remember no time before, but I walked the dark fields and saw many things. You are Norine the Mad. Yes, mad, mad, mad to come to this place. There are ghosts, yes, and evil spirits, but more terrible than any of the bears. Speak with Mencham. This man seems quite unhinged. Indeed he does. A shadow is on my spirit. And there is Indrim. Indramim. Idramin. Idramin? Idramin? We'll go with Idramin. Idramin, our vigilant lookout. He speaks but rarely and smiles not at all. But his watchful presence eases my fears and lets me sleep better at night, so I do not begrudge him his silence. I believe he came from Melumen, far to the southeast, but I do not know what brought him hither. Introduce yourself. You can do that. You can give us some of your rare speech. Idramin peers at you calmly, but does not speak. After a moment of uncomfortable staring, he looks away and seems to listen intently to some distant sound only he can hear. Yep, definitely eccentric company. Will you lend me your ear? The voice upon the air. You ask of Idramin, he watches and listens all day. Myself, I haven't, I haven't strong hearing, let alone the keen senses of the elves. I know not to what he hearkens. He speaks very little, but of one thing I am certain. Whatever draws his attention, he fears it. He will not venture into the fields of Fornos to seek it. Ask Idramin what he hears in the fields of Fornos. Alrighty, that we can do, if he will speak to us. The voice upon the air. He's a level 25 quest. We definitely need to do some leveling up. You ask Idramin what he hears, but he does not respond. His expression is slightly annoyed, as if you have interrupted him in something important. Meditate to listen for any strange sounds. Okay. Meditate. You sit and meditate with Idramin. Okay. I did. I meditated to listen for those strange sounds. Idramin looks past you, his eyes searching the fell looking fields. Alright. Meditate. Listen for any strange sounds. I did. Sit and meditate quietly. Ah, I see. There's a countdown timer. You de suddenly detect, just barely, a far-off song, ghostly and unsettling. Tell Idramin that you hear the chilling voices in the air. You tell Idramin that you have heard the strange voice, and he looks at you sharply. His words come haltingly, as if the common speech is strange to him. Well, I'm an elf! Talk to me in elvish! You hear the twisted song. Great evil lies beyond the light of this fire. Do you seek death? If not, stay and listen from afar. Find the source of the unsettling song. Idramin breaks his silence to caution you against seeking the voice. Well, I've never listened to any of the elves before, or I would have stayed at home, wouldn't I? Okay. 
Okay, let's see. Does it give us... The song came from the northwest of Mincham's camp. Okay. We'll head on up to the northwest of the camp then. Oh, I remember spending many a many a many an hour in this place with Glenora, and that is for sure. Could it be the sickly buck? No, it's not the sickly buck. Alright, there's their camp, so we are going northwest up into this part. Trying to remember what it is. Is it the is it that lady with the frying pan who's dancing around and singing? Want to say that's what it is. Cannot remember her name at the moment, but she's gone quite mad. Mad, I tell you, mad. To quote Plan 9 from Outer Space. Alright. Continue to the northwest here. And maybe, maybe find this voice. Yeah, I saw on the launcher it talked about the Yule Fest. Said the uh, Yule Fest, talking about Yule Fest rewards and uh, bon uh, discounts and stuff. So I was kind of sort of expecting to see the Yule Fest when I logged in. But there were no messages for it or anything, so I guess it has not started yet. I thought this was a little bit early. But normally it doesn't start up till. Normally it does not start up. Until uh, about the middle of the month. That's holiday. So I was thinking, well, well, it's a little early. And apparently it was a little early. I think they've just popped up their message a little too soon. Neither the cold. All right, we've got an environment. You feel a terrible chill and realize that a great an old evil presence is nearby. You have encountered Nather, a terrifying presence in the fields of Fornos. This ghostly being has gained power from having pulled the life from the lands around it. Defeat Nather. Well, if I could find Nather, I would defeat Nather. So if we see Nather, we might fight Nather. In the meantime, we're still looking for the singing. Uh oh. Nather. Alright, that would be Nather, I would imagine. The ring that p popped up there. See up there in between all of those uh, oath breakers? Yes, he is. Looks like we're going to have to fight our way past this one to get to him, so. See if I can lock him down. Get him out of our way, and that should help things a little bit. I think I'm going to save the sticky gourd for whenever we uh, actually fight Nather. Look at the new deed, Redeemer. I imagine it's kill Oathbreakers. Redeemer, defeat Shades in the North Downs. Yep, so defeating any of these Oathbreakers should help us along with that one. There is Nather. Wow. Okay, hello Nather. Tell you what, this is a good place to use one of our scented candles, isn't it? Let's get a little hope back while we're up here in the Land of the Dread. Oh, I met one of your type at the... Met one of your shady type at the... At the, uh... Harvest Festival, didn't we? Closer, warm creature. Closer. Let the cold take you. Do not be afraid. It will be over with soon. Oh. 
Let's hit this puppy with everything we got. Nope, not the Bane player. Almost everything we got. And hit him with a stick. You have driven off Nather. Quest ready to advance. Nather the Cold. You have defeated one of the chief forces of evil in the fields of Fornos, Nather, who drains the warmth from men. Nice. All right, so we got that one out of the way. Completed Nather the Cold. Now, let's keep looking and see if we can find that singing voice we were looking for. We are still, I think, to the northwest of the camp. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. There we go. I see someone. There we are singing. I didn't think it was too far, but I didn't realize she was this close to the road. La 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 la. Tra la 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 la. Tra la la. Why is she not dancing? Usually I think she was dancing, and last time I thought she had a frying pan and not a club. Amazing how the Mandela effect kicks in, isn't it? Why are you bothering me? Tra -la 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 -tra -la. Oh, but it is long since I had someone to sing and dance with me. Come sing, tra -la -la -tra -la. Protect yourself. <laughs> Fool, I am Alantran. Your little Idoline is no more. Come to me now. Come and die. Ready? I don't who know who Idoline is. Maybe, uh... Mr. Elf can tell us. You have driven off the fell spirit on Lathron from Eidolon. I am driven from this way, but I am not defeated. We shall meet again. Ah, uh, ah, uh, what has happened? Where am I? Where is she? Oh, you saved me from her, from Onlathron. Oh, I should get back home now. Back home. This is kind of like that Cardolan book. Where you really don't know everything that's going on, but you still kind of completed the quest. Let's go back. Let's talk to Idramine. See if he can shed a little more light on this matter because we don't know who the hell Idoline was. Who the hell that Onathron is. Or why the hell this elf is so interested in all of it. <clears throat> he better untie his tongue a little bit. Get it back away from that cat, you know. But perhaps he will now. All right, back to the camp. Good, yet another day, just like this, the one that I put up this morning. Yet another one where I don't have to... Beware the fields have driven men mad. Another day where I don't have to do a whole bunch of editing because everything is... Bobo, Bobo. That's just rude. I don't have to do a bunch of editing because it's all in one big fell swoop. You did well. Not many would have survived such an encounter, let alone driven off the fell spirit without harming the girl. Endholder's boots, which we can't wear. Or Turon. One-handed club, which we can't use. Well, let's get the boots then. And we have no idea... Who Idoline was, why she was out in the field, we have no idea who, what end holder's boots are. Let's talk to Minchum, maybe he can tell us something. Might you spare a moment of your time? This poor girl, she is from a farm not far from here, but the fell spirit on Lathron seems to have tricked her into coming. My duty does not allow me to pursue the villains of Fornos unless they are unwise enough to venture south of where we stand, into the North Downs. I must stay here, but you are bound by no such oath. Of everyone, Colbert the Bad knows the most about Fornos and its many fell landmarks. 
Maybe he will have an inkling of where Ornithron would likely be hiding. Alright, Colbert. Apparently we're getting the runaround from everybody, and it has led to you on this How can magical... Be of service? Led to you on this magical mystery roundabout here. Hunting Ornithron. You want to search the fields of Fornos? You cannot walk the steps I walked without going a tad mad. I came from the north and the west, and I saw piles of dirt with bones sticking out, with treasure glinting from within. I saw lights that chawed me to my death, and I saw graves wherever I looked. Find and explore the strange piles of earth, search for the deathly lights, and search for graves. Colbert is giving you a vague list of landmarks in the western fields. Indeed he has. And next time, we will use those landmarks and travel on out into the field. So there you go. We have completed another Narbonne episode here. I hope you all have enjoyed it. Um, it's been fun doing it. Like I said, I was kind of half expecting to see the Yule Fest whenever I first logged on. But uh, maybe the next time we get a bow to it. I'm hoping to get a Nar Narlo episode up tomorrow. And we'll see if we can get that one done. And then I can't make too many promises about episodes after that until next week comes around. Because I will be away from a computer for a little while. So we'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, thank you all for coming with us here. Hope you all have enjoyed it, as always. Enjoy your uh, views and your comments. And we will think... Are we going to continue on into the North Downs and Fornos here? Or will maybe next time we'll travel back down there and see if we can finish off a couple more of those deeds in the Barrow Downs? We'll see you then. Thank you all for coming along and bye bye.